You know, I no sooner hit record and the neighbor's dog starts barking. When the sun Today we've got a little bit of a comparison going on here. We're going to talk about Pike Creek 21 year sherry cask finish. And the reason I didn't say the other words because I don't even know how to say it. Uh, Oloroso. Oloroso? You tell me. I know James you're going to tell me. Uh, cask finish 45% alcohol. And we're going to compare that with the Four Roses single barrel. And this is a 2015 store pick. Barrel strength at 53.7. We're going to try them both. Now, I am a fan of the Four Roses. I'm also a fan of the Pike Creek. I've never actually compared the two, so we're going to try them. How can I forget? James. James Kitzel. Thank you very much for these two. And the other ten that are sitting up there on the shelf that i got to get to yet. So, we're going to compare the two. Again, Pike Creek. Along with the... Four Roses. Now, again, I am not a whiskey connoisseur. I am not a professional. I wing it at best. At best, I wing it. But what I try to do is to give you a, a rookie's point of view as to what I'm actually smelling and tasting. Some of you, like me, may be new into whiskey, really don't know what you're getting or what you're tasting or what you're smelling. It all comes back to past experience. So, we're going to give it a shot here. First up is going to be the Four Roses, then the Pike Creek. Hmm, that's, uh, I can almost tell that's Four Roses. Yeah, I know, I knew it was Four Roses. I read it on the label. James gave me these awesome sample bottles. All kinds of information on the front. Okay, right off the bat, the Pike Creek seems a little thinner. All right. A little thinner. How can I explain thinner? No, it doesn't seem like there's as much there, scent wise. All right, Pike Creek. There's a classic vanilla. I can almost, I think I can taste some fruits in there. I'm not quite sure what kind of fruit it is, but I can taste some fruit. That is good. The sweetness in here might come from the sherry cask. I don't know. That's, James, you're going to leave me a comment down below. Tell me what I'm missing, and is the sweetness coming from the sherry cask? It just seems like there's more here, that's all. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely more there. And you can taste the difference in the alcohol content. So, the Pike Creek is 45% alcohol. Uh, James has got this Four Roses listed at 53.7% alcohol. That 8% difference, yes, I can add or subtract. That 8% difference is definitely noticeable in the Four Roses. And that may be where the extra is coming from. Let me go to my trusty phone here. Okay, uh, Pike Creek. Okay, so the sweetness might have been from the apple juice. I didn't get any chocolate. It says here on the nose, it's sweet and buttery, almost like rum. I mean, I guess that's from the cask. And, and when I, once I read it, I can actually smell it, but me trying to figure out because I'm so new at this, uh, I'm not quite getting it. Orange rind and apple juice, some dark fruits, but fairly restrained. Wine gums, didn't get that. Slightly nutty. Uh, is that me or a family member? family member. Also says it seems mature for a Canadian whiskey. That I'm not too familiar with. I'll be honest with you. 
for the palate sweet yes it is very sweet okay uh, the oakiness is there I can taste the oakiness in it it says it's definitely more woody than a typical Pike Creek or Canadian whiskey in general that I don't know I haven't had that many to be able to say yes it is no it's not but yes the, the woods there the oak is there So what I try to do is I try to taste and smell, then go to the notes. Yes, I have to find the website first, but I try not to read it. Once I read what's on the nose and what's on the palate, I try to put, yes, I got that. No, I didn't get that. The nuttiness, I didn't get the nuttiness at all. It says on the finish, mainly caramel and red wine. I'm not a red wine drinker, so I couldn't tell you. But man, that is good. That is good. Uh, as you know, I did a review on the uh, other Pike Creek before. I really enjoyed that. Now we're going to check out the Four Roses. All right, Four Roses Single Barrel, 2015, barrel strength, 53.7% alcohol. Again, it's considerably more. It's 8% more than the Pike Creek, and you can definitely taste the difference there. Okay, so on the nose is a dried spice pear, cocoa, vanilla, and maple syrup. I got a sweetness that might have been the maple syrup and on the palate it's the hints of ripe plum and cherries robust full body and mellow for a 53 percent alcohol it is mellow okay so now that I know what I'm looking for I can smell I can smell the maple syrup initially I couldn't put that in there but I could smell it uh, the dried spice, I have no idea. The pear, I'm not getting any pear at all. I think it's being taken over by the maple syrup for me. Oh, that's good. That is good. So, okay, so on the palate, hints of ripe plum, cherries, and a robust full body and mellow. I will go with the full body. I'm kind of getting what that is. I'm still, I'm tasting some maple syrup here. I'm not tasting the cherries. I'm not a plum eater, so I'm really not getting much plum. I don't know. The more I smell, the more I'm going back to the Pike Creek. Either way. Either way, they are both very sweet whiskeys. I want to thank again, James, for sending me these samples. You're keeping me going with the whiskey tasting, and I appreciate that a lot. Folks, it pays to have good friends like that. So again, James, thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, I got, uh, like I said, I got about 10 more to get through. It's just a matter of finding the time to do it. Anyway, if I got to pick one, Okay, on the nose, if I gotta pick one, I gotta pick the Pike Creek. But on the taste, on the taste, I gotta go with the Four Roses. I'm kind of stumped here as to which one to go with. I cannot pick an overall. I'm gonna have to go with on the nose. It's gonna be the Pike Creek. It's just something sweet about this, but it's not overpowering. On the taste, though, even though it's a higher, eight percent higher proof. And you can taste that proof difference. It's still very smooth. I mean, there's there's little to no alcohol burn with that at all. I'm going to have to go with a tie. I'm going to have to give it to Four Roses. Sorry, Pike Creek. i got to give it to the Four Roses. Again, everybody's opinion is going to be different. You may say, oh my God, that is just terrible. Compared to the Pike Creek, it's in a sherry cask and blah, blah. Everybody has a different taste, and this is what I like to do. I will smell and taste each one, then I go to the notes and see what I get. I, I, a lot of them have the oakiness, a lot of them already have the, the caramel flavor, a lot of them already have the vanilla, which is, vanilla is prevalent in both of these here. But that's a standard one. It's what you get that's different. And some of the things that, you're, that they suggest that are in here, some of them I just don't get. The nuttiness, 
other than family members, there's not much nuttiness here. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. And if you're wondering where the fishing videos are, kind of been wondering that myself. Here in Ontario, the weather's been nuts. We're at the stage of the year, which is nearing the end of March, where it can snow one day and be 20 degrees the next, and that's Celsius, which means it's warm. So you never know whether you put a winter coat on or you're going out with shorts and a t-shirt. The crap you're going to be in the creeks pretty soon, so we're going to have some fishing videos coming. But in the meantime, while I can't get out, as you all know, I love coffee and I love whiskey. To me, I want to try and bring you a little bit of everything. So until the next one, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, like button, share button. If you're new here, welcome. We'd like to have you aboard. Make sure you hit all them buttons on the bottom. Leave me a comment down below because I know there's going to be a comment from James Kitzel probably within the minutes of me uploading this video telling me what I should be smelling, what I should be tasting. That guy's a walking book of knowledge when it comes to whiskey. Anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers. Hey, see what I almost did there? Yes, I know the video was almost done, but you see what I almost did there? I almost poured the four roses into the Pike Creek. Is that sacrilegious or is that okay? What am I going to get if I do it? James is probably rolling in his chair right about now. Ho ho! Well, well, well. Wow. I'm not even going to tell you what it tastes like. See you in the next one. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. A new person's, a new person, gotta find my words yet again, a rookie's point of view.